Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video, my favorite newborn things. Top five favorite newborn things that all fit in a diaper bag. There's so many things that I love that are meant for newborns that are meant for, you know, until you're two, three years old, but these five things in particular, I cannot live without and they all fit inside of a diaper bag. A diaper bag. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get this five thing party started. I don't know what I'm saying. If you follow me, baby, I'll let you know. Magnolia is doing amazing and these things I have used almost every single day of my pregnancy and I want to share them with you. I am not sponsored by any of these products. I do love all of these products. I don't mind a sponsorship by these products, but currently I am not sponsored by them. Let's start with love. Okay, so when you first have a baby, you need breast milk bags unless you're using formula. My whole goal this year is to go the entire year. I have not done that with any of my pregnancies, but go the entire year breastfeeding. It is such a challenge and you need good bags. It is so important to get good bags. I have reviewed five different kinds of bags. And for me, in no particular order, the Lasonic storage bags, these are my jam. They're easy to open. You can just, it's so easy to get the milk out when they're frozen and it, being able to thaw them is very easy. I like the way that they stand. These bags are my jam. These bags are my jam, jam, jam. These bags are my jam. I love these and yes, I did try like four others and I'm not impressed. BPA and BPS free. Okay, so when you're breastfeeding, again, this is something that is meant for, of course, the newborn world or the, you know, zero to 12 months. When you're breastfeeding, they're gonna ask you to, to um, give additional vitamin D to your baby. This was recommended by a pediatrician of mine and I love it. it it's, it's worked so far. Magnolia's eyelashes are out of this world and you know, vitamin D is great for bones and your her and all that good jazz. And so I'm hoping that this, and mind you, it's open because I have to put this back in the fridge. I keep mine in the fridge just so I don't lose it and one of the kids doesn't find it and you know, it, I just keep it in the fridge, but right now it's in my diaper bag. So yes, vitamin D by Zarbies, I like. I'm gonna put all of the details of my favorites in the right below, in the comments below, not comments, cause there are no comments, in the, you know, the stuff below, the description, that's it. Okay, keep going. I, I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna throw any diaper rash cream underneath the bus, but again, I went through about, I, I wanna say eight eight different store-bought, like ones that I could find at Target, ones that I could find at, at, you know, Walmart or CVS or whatever the case is. I went through about eight different kinds and one of them works amazing for Grayson and Magnolia, I mean Grayson and Penny when they used to wear diapers um, and that was Aquaphor, okay? And we had Aquaphor in our house. We still have Aquaphor in our house. I love Aquaphor, I think it's great. But for some reason, it wasn't working on Magnolia's diaper rash. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it. I couldn't, I and mean, then cornstarch, nothing was working, none of my old tricks. Until, again, my pediatrician rocks, she recommended colmoceptine, okay? I've never used this in a pregnancy prior. I got it on Amazon, it was a two pack that I got, and now I'm on a regular shipment. This is the bee's knees, okay? This took out her diaper rash overnight. And it, it, it reminds me of um, calamine lotion, which I'm sure, you know, Calmo, it's kind of like the same kind of ingredients if you look at the two packages together. But this is actually good for, you know, your, your baby your baby parts. Calmo Septine all the way. It's not expensive. It's under $10. It's, 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 it's a miracle worker. I've used it on myself when we got mosquito bites and the next day, boom. They're not red. It's a barely a, any kind of bump. I mean, it's this, this is a miracle worker for the summer. All right, I recommend this. This 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 if this was ranked, it would be like in my top three. Okay, but I'm not ranking any of these. I'm just saying this would definitely be a top three. Speaking of mosquitoes. Okay, so. 
everyone is all about these plant-based therapies and I, oh, it's, it's hard to see it. Here we go, Kid Safe. Okay, so this is Kid Safe oil. I know that essential oils have become the thing lately. I got this at an ABC Kids Expo and I had no idea. I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I didn't know if I wasn't gonna like it. All I knew was is that he gave me a bunch of samples and I was gonna try it out at home. They have been lifesavers. Okay, I always look for things because in California, we usually never had mosquito issues until this year. Now the mosquitoes are everywhere. There are natural repellents for children for mosquitoes through this brand, Kids Safe. I'm, again, I'm gonna put this detail in the um, description below. They have so many different options for children. This one is one of my favorite and it's out and I need to order more. It's called Happy Place, but it just gives you that little bit of energy and that little bit, I, I use it myself, a little bit of like happiness. And what you may or may not know, it does, they don't advertise for this, but, la but it actually repelled, this, this one has repelled mosquitoes for us. I'm not, they don't, that's not part of this advertising for this specific one, but when we ran out of the mosquito repellent, this one actually worked. Um, as you know, lavender is, is a natural repellent and things like that. This one is also amazing and I'm obsessed with it. If you have the sniffles, they have an essential oil for it. All of these natural oils that I totally recommend and it's, not only are they awesome because they have the roller balls, but they're awesome because they're plant-based. Of course, all of them are plant-based. My children have very sensitive skin and we have never had any kind of like reaction to these, nothing. It's been a very natural, easy transition to use these kids safe products. Literally, kids safe. I'm a fan. Even on my newborn. It doesn't say you should use it on a newborn, but you know, why not try it if you're like in need of, of a little love, especially like from these mosquitoes? Would you rather like have a mosquito bite or would you rather, you know, use something as sim simple as an essential oil? Instead of any of the big toxins, this is just the way to go in my opinion. This might creep you out a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I was very skeptical on this purchase. It was a little over $250 per item and I bought two of them. And I bet you know what I'm about to say. Okay, so, <laughs> as you can see, it currently was feeding off of my booby. I was working and pumping at the same time. This is LV. LV is amazing. This is LV. This is LV and I bought two of them. They come in a two pack or a one pack. They recommend that you pump dually. Okay, so this is a breast pump. It has no cords. All that it required was plugging it in and you have to make sure that you have a good fit. So it comes with two different size vessels for your boobies. If this is too personal, then go check out the next vlog tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So it'll like adjust. Mind you, this has been in my boob. So it's a little milky right now, but um, there's two different sizes that it comes with. And there's a lot of things. After I used it for about three months, I thought that they both broke. I was like, what the chuck? And I went on the website and I was gonna be returning both of them because I thought like 90 days, this can't happen. What I did was I, it said troubleshoot it first before you send them back. So I did the troubleshooting and lo and behold, this is my, there's a few like things that I, I do get a little bit annoyed by but if you can see, there's like a little suction in here, and each time that I use it, I have to flip it up. I'm a little annoyed by that, but would I say that I, like it's still in my top five favorite things. There's only two things that I find a little bit unfortunate with the LV. One of them is having to flip up the lip of that suction every single time I use it. And the second thing is, this is the bag that it's supposed to protect. This is so flimsy, okay? This is not a protection bag. Yes, you put it in your bag and you're carrying it with you, but like for an item that's $250 that you desperately use every other hour, if not, you know, every three hours, I don't know how long, how often you pump, or every five hours, no matter what, 
you keep it with you and so it gets a lot of wear and tear and to put something so valuable in a flimsy bag just feels like they should have done something differently. And I put it in a different bag, that's why I've never even, like, I don't even have a use for this. Let me give you more reasons why I love it. It comes with an app, and on the app, it will show you, I'm gonna just be really up in it so that it's not dark anymore. Okay, so it comes with an app, and on the app, it will show you how many ounces each one of your, of your breasts have pumped. So it shows you like when you're pumping more, when you're pumping less, it shows you when your like supply is going down. I mean, hello, like none of my other random breast pumps did that. I would have to log it manually to make sure that I kept up with how many ounces I was pumping. To not have to even deal with that, to have that included, that, that's a game changer for me. To not have to be attached to a wall is a game changer for me. Now, as it's gone on for about, I, I've had this now, of course, you know, five months. My baby's five months. I can tell the difference in a suction in the other one. I've cleaned it a million times. I've done all of the troubleshooting. Um, I have two of them and I can definitely, without a doubt, tell a difference in the pumping for the other one. Do I still think that it's a game changer? Yes. Do I think that maybe I did something and maybe I'm blaming myself? Yes. Every single pump I've ever owned, they, they get tired, I, I will tell you. No matter if it's LV, if it's Medela, if it's, no matter what pump it is, there, it, it, it I, it, you know, it, it wears. There's wear and tear on everything. It's just like a car, you have to take care of it and there's still gonna be wear and tear. I'm not disappointed because I feel like it's done its job. I totally recommend this. I know there's a competitor brand. I don't know anything about the competitor brand, but this one specifically has been a game changer for me. A game changer for me. That brings me to my five favorite things inside of the diaper bag, but it's not over yet. This is called a mini B. Jujube to me is the best diaper bag out there. This is a mini, um, it's a little backpack. I haven't even started using it because I have another one that's like blue jean material inside the house that we use regularly. I almost like don't wanna, like I just I just love them so much. So many reasons, when they get dirty, you just shove them in the, in the washing machine and it happens no matter what, no matter how clean of a person you are, your diaper bag is gonna get dirty. You put it on the floor, it goes on the floor of your car, it's gonna get dirty. Uh, your breast milk leaks, it's gonna get dirty. You have a bottle in there, it's gonna get dirty. You know what I'm saying? So I really love, look at how tiny it is. I really love the Mini B. It's called the Mini B, B-E-E. -E. And this is my favorite. It's a little miniature backpack. It's manly for a man. It's also feminine for a girl. And now that I have ranted on for a million hours about all of my favorites, these are really my favorite newborn items that I cannot live without, that I've used multiple times a day, every single day since Magnolia was born. Things that I used throughout all of my pregnancies have been these bags. I even ventured differently through having, when I had Magnolia, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go try out these other ones. And it was a big mistake. And I just went straight back to, to Lansonal. I, I, I'm not good at pronouncing these. These also came from Amazon. Easy, they arrive at your door, all that good jazz. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. I'm just gonna put this by my face so that it's like nice and light, you know what I'm saying? Because the lighting is a little jank. Okay guys, thank you so much for being a part of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really grateful for all of you on the channel. I'm really grateful for this journey and um, I hope that you're staying safe out there wearing masks, not doing anything crazy. And uh, yeah, let's get through this 2020 together because 2021 is right around the corner and hopefully it will be a safer place for all of us. All the best to you. I adore all of y'all. All right. I absolutely love this pump. Somebody's reversing. I'm trying to record a vlog here. I mean, really? Okay. Now, I wasn't planning on, I actually was planning on just using them when I went back to work. This has been a game changer. Lons and all.
series right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna try and talk over it. There we go. Okay, I think it stopped. <laughs>